time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay. Right, so for the moment we can swap between Red Art and Hoagie. What's Hoagie got? He's a can opener and the plans. Um, why is there a kumquat trick? What? Mmm, kumquats. That doesn't seem very old colonial to me, but then. Ugh. Uh, path. Oh, wow. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! Oh, mine! <laughs> if only we had some nasty weather! but it's the mansion 200 years ago. Oh! Hmm. Okay, let's come look at the carriage, I guess. It's totally covered with crud. Hmm. Yes. Making it dirtier won't help. It's closed. Well, like, open it. Huh. Open it is not an option. Woohoo, the Pony Express. <laughs> You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Okay, don't know who that's to, but um, I'm going to assume it's going to be useful later. Yeah, I was not organized enough to check when I started uh, recording, so I'm just going to have to chop these up into episodes later. There is a mummy on the reception desk. What the dickens? What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Um, okay. I have something for Red Edison. Uh, Do you know where I, I could know find why we're him? To mommy. This is stupid. Great hat, man. Okay, later, later dude. Moment. But, yeah, he, I assume you're going to be of some importance at a later date. It's closed. Can we open it? Can we go in there? We can. Ooh. Okay, what have we here? Okay. Hey. What is it? <laughs> you look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. No. Then again, maybe not. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Well... Okay. What are you inventing? It's a piece of paper that will stick to <laughs> things by itself. Rather wow. ingenious, if I must say so myself. Um, okay, I think well, I see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. <laughs> Hmm. 
super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Okay, so we've got to go find those things, I assume. Question mark. Pretty sure I should grab that coat before I left, but let's see what else we've got. The door, okay. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Is he taking a scan in? Um. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Okay. Interesting. Whoa, 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 no, hold your horses, Hoagie, get back. There's clearly going to be something I can steal in this car. So, grab it. Oh, ha! Oh. Get away from that! Oh, it's Jesus. a good thing I finished in there quickly. Now, scram! Oh, they just don't make founding fathers <laughs> like they used to. You know, scram in the other direction, okay? Because I'm gonna put you all the way back up here again. Okay, let's try this one. Oh my goodness, there's some. Um... Was he Sam or was he Max? I can't remember which was which. The rabbit from Seven Lines. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Hmm. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. <laughs> oh, dear. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay, well, that's clearly a thing we're going to have to do at some point. Pitsy and Ross. I wonder actually how, much, how many of the jokes I will get this time round that I didn't get the first time round. Pop culture. Steel wine bottle, because I mean, that's what you do in these games. Ah, there's a drawer. Open it. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Oh, come on. Pull yourself together. Open the drawer. Probably the underwear drawer. Oh, fine. Still okay, pants instead. I don't understand that technical stuff. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. What? Oh, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> it's like, wow, I don't remember that storyline at all. <clears throat> More stairs. I... what? Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. This is weird. Um... What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Man, that horse sounds familiar. I gotta go. Hmm. See you later. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Ooh. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. I don't think I want this. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? 
I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Ooh. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get that joke. I'm sure that's terribly amusing. <laughs> Where you're from. It's not bad. Where exactly did you come from? I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. How nice for you. How nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. How nice for everybody. Well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Aww. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. Yeah. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. What a pretty pussy cat. Cats dig these. Anything else for you up here? Oh, we're gonna do something terrible to that cat before this game is over. Obsessed about the horse's teeth, so I need them for something too, I imagine. Okay. Go through the door. Go through the. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know what silly thing to do first. Let's see. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, Amendment to the Constitution. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Hmm. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Oh. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Interesting. <laughs> Who'd want a poster of a log? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c c crazy over guys with a big <laughs> signature. Well, I gotta go, dude.
I don't got nothing to prove. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy, my name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Hmm. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? All kinds of things. It looks like a martini shaker. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. <laughs> hey, keep your hands off that. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Excuse me. Yes? What are you looking at out there? He's looking at the Concord tree. The future of our nation. Hmm. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Don't Striking, be. aren't I? Whoa, you're like George Washington. <laughs> Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Does Mrs. Washington know you wear so much makeup? One must wear makeup when one receives the phenomenal amount of media attention that I do. It's quite likely that I'll be president soon, you know. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Well, I am quite the adept tree cutter. Men still tell tales of my youthful yeah. prowess. And I've heard of that. Uh... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand, cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? <laughs> Please, this is serious business. You're right. Excuse me. Yes?
Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial no, teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. This is, as it happens, um, an old ice tale. But that's not actually what I want to talk about. Uh, oh. Well, I gotta go now. Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Mm -hmm. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Yep. Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. What, you like that one? But as you can see, there... Oh, huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Yeah. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. Do you have your own axe? He does. Excellent. I said come down from there at once! Uh -huh. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. No, I am. There we go. So we now have Bernard. So as soon as oh, Hoagie gets that battery working, <laughs> we're set. Mm. I'm afraid not. No. We still need a diamond for the main unit. Mm. And your friend in the future needs power too, yeah. if she's still alive. She's fine. Alive? Get me out of here! Oh I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. <laughs> owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't <laughs> worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family <laughs> motto. Okay, so as I was saying, we've now got access to all three of them. We've got Bernard there, we've got Hoagie, and we have Laverne. And I think I'm going to stop recording here um, for just now at any rate. And pick that up next time. So, hope you've been enjoying it. I'm enjoying looking at this again. Um, it's a little more cutscene heavy than I remember, but there you go. Um, so, bye for now, I guess. Come and look at us straight. There we go. Nope. There we go. Bye, Bernard. Bye, viewers. <laughs>